Okay, I've got a bit of a fun video for you today, and this is how I escaped the matrix. I'm going to break it down into four steps. There are four kind of components to this that, in my opinion, is how I managed to escape the matrix. And before we do this, I just want to before we do this, I want to just kind of define what I consider to mean escaping the matrix. So what I mean is having passive income from multiple sources, not having to rely on any one job, country, person, business, or really anything, and being able to move wherever you want to spend your time. So you literally wake up tomorrow and say, right, now I'm going to go to Turkey or now I'm going to go to uh, Cambodia. Now I'm going to go to Dubai. And you just, you can just do that. That's what I mean by escaping the matrix. You don't have to ask anyone. You don't have to, you know, like uh, save up or wait for it. You can just go wherever you want, do whatever you want. And you're not really constrained even by any one country or government. All right. So how do you do it? Um, like I said, I'm going to break this down into four steps. So like I said, I'll break this down to four steps. Each of these steps is equally important. So yeah, make sure you stick around to the edge. Make sure you stick around to the end and uh, yeah, let's get into it. So the first one is time. Now, so firstly, the four steps, by the way, is time, money, energy, and attention. The first one I'm gonna talk about is time. You need to have freedom to decide what to do with your time. If you have to go to work every day, nine to five, Monday to Friday in an office, you don't have control over your time, much least even more, you don't have any control over your money. You don't really have any control over your life because you have to do certain things. You have to go into the office nine to five and then an hour either side for commuting and getting ready. You're, you're screwed, basically. You're, you're, in you're being controlled by somebody else, by a, a boss, a business, a job, whatever it is. So that's the first step. You need to take back control of your time. This is what I managed to do, is by separating my time from, from my income, uh, I set things up very early in a way that I don't have to spend my physical time in order to make money. The money is made passively and through systems I set up, you know, years ago. So, and this is, this is a way that I have started to think now is like, how can I create more leverage in the future where I don't need to spend any time doing it except maybe some setup time at the beginning. So I might spend, you know, a few days, a few hours, or even a few weeks setting up the system at the beginning. And then that will pay me constantly for many years to come. So I've been able, this is one of the most, this is one of the most important ways I've been able to escape the matrix is to very early on set up multiple income sources, multiple things like investments, businesses, YouTube channels, websites, and ways where I can give value. So like make videos, content and things like that uh, and help people. And in return, I get paid passive income. Most of the time it doesn't even so I actually show you how to do this in the Abundance Manifestation Academy and some other links in the description. There's some different ways I can do this. So if you click the links in the description uh, or just go to astralhq.com, you'll be able to see how we do it. So really this leads quite nicely onto the second one, which is money. You need, with, your, with my money, I have set it up in a way that any one income source can vanish and I'm still fine. So this, and it's very easy to set this up. You know, you just need to be systematical uh, systematic even and just set multiple income sources up one by one it might take you a year it might take you five years but once they're set up if you set them up in the right way they're going to be stable and they're going to just keep paying you every month without you having to do anything this is really the ultimate key to freedom because when you don't have to physically spend your time to make money you're free to then do whatever you want whether that's you know traveling learning setting up the next system growing scaling whatever it is you're free to do that or even if you just if you just want to spend more time reading and learning about your passion, then you're also free to do that. And so the way I managed to set it up is that any any one income source, channel, business, platform, social media platform, account, or even an entire country or bank that I use could completely vanish and I'll be absolutely fine because I've diversified across so many different things. This is how I believe I was able to escape the matrix because when you're relying on just one thing, let's say if you have, let's take it really, really basic example. Let's say you have all your money in one bank in one country. All it takes is for that government to say, oh, we see that you liked this uh, inaccurate post on Facebook that our fact checkers have, de have deemed to be fake. Now we're going to disable your bank account. This literally happened in, I think it was uh, Australia or Canada. Canada, right? Crazy. And just in, with a click of a button, no bank account, no income, no no savings, none of that matters. You are completely dependent on the government and you can't do anything. Meanwhile, if you had diversified, if you had 10 bank accounts in five different countries, you know, uh, you 
would they would have no power over you have freedom you can do and say and go wherever you want to and no one government country platform business or company can do anything about it you know you're completely outside of that grid of control whereas when you're relying on one thing and the most common one is a job most people are reliant heavily on one job in one country with one boss and one company if they decide to get rid of you, you're completely screwed. Now you have to find another one. And what mistake people make is they, let's say they get fired or they lose their job or something. They immediately go looking for another job. And then they have the same trap all over again. Now you're in a different job with a different boss. But the, the danger is still there. You could be fired instantly. And now you have no income, no savings, and no nothing. So what I did is essentially I went through every area of my life, income, savings, bank, uh, different accounts, platforms, businesses, brands. And I said, right, if I lost this one, what would happen? What about if I lost my, my Google account? What if I lost my Instagram? What if I, you know, what if I lost this website, this email account? What if this bank shut down? And I built things in such a way that it doesn't matter because any one link in the chain would be anywhere from one to 15% of my total life. So let's say if I had, let's say for argument's sake, if you had, let's say a thousand pounds or a thousand dollars, what I would do is I would split that thousand dollars into five separate accounts, ideally in different countries. And you might think this sounds a bit extreme, but this is, in my opinion, how you can escape the matrix because as you grow, as you earn more and more, you become very, very independent of countries, governments, even social media platforms, like for example, YouTube, you're watching this on YouTube, right? Uh, you may or may not know that I have actually got over 10 different versions of this channel on 10 different video streaming platforms outside. And maybe you're watching this on one of the alternative ones, in which case that's great. <laughs> you can see exactly what I mean. But for example, I am on Odyssey, Rumble, BitChute, DTube. There's all of these different kind of platforms that I'm on where if one of them closed down, it does not matter. It doesn't matter. And this is across not just this channel, but all of my YouTube channels. And then YouTube as a whole is one tiny piece of my business that I've created, which means that I could lose every single channel on every single platform and it wouldn't really matter. It would make a very small difference to the freedom that I have created for myself by escaping the matrix. But the mistake that a lot of people fall into is that they they just depend on one thing or two things for their entire life. And if one of those things breaks, now you're completely, you know, things are up in the air and you're kind of screwed. Okay, so the next one, number three, energy. Now, this is something I talk about a lot on my other channel, Transcend Your Limits. When I say energy, I really mean the physical and biological energy to do things. So this comes down to your body, so your muscles, your neuromuscular system, central nervous system, but also your brain, your brain power, like your ability to actually think about things and focus. This, unfortunately, is being absolutely destroyed by platforms like TikTok, um, Instagram Reels, short, these kinds of things, right? Short video content is frying your attention span. And you can do a test right now if you don't believe me. If you don't believe that your attention span is going down, down the drain, try and just sit there for five minutes and do nothing. Like literally just focus only on your breathing for five minutes and just... That's it. Most of you cannot do that. Most people on the internet cannot do that. Your attention span has gone down below that of a goldfish. A goldfish, I think, has an average attention span of about nine seconds. If you watch videos on TikTok or Instagram Reels, pay attention to how long it takes before you scroll up on, and swipe to the next video. For most people, it's under four seconds, which is half the goldfish attention span. So, <laughs> and it sounds crazy, but this is, this is how it's uh, happened. So make sure that your energy is strong. And this is what I basically, I did this uh, through biohacking. So I was able to find a series of like hacks, tricks, techniques, and things, concepts that would optimize my body and optimize my mind. By doing these things every day for a number of years, I've got to a point where I just have energy. I sleep really well. Like I track, I don't know if I, I mentioned this in a previous video, I track my sleep in the aura ring and my sleep scores usually and readiness scores are usually very good. I'm usually very well rested and I have energy 
mental and physical, throughout the day, there seems to be almost no downtime, no afternoon slump. Okay, my blood sugar levels are very stabilized. My blood work, I actually have been doing a number of different like tests, blood tests, to prove that what I'm doing is actually beneficial. And my blood tests are always optimal. So I take I, I take a test in the UK, it's called Thriver. Uh, but as I'm moving around, I need to find an alternative. But uh, I'm sure that wherever you're watching this, you can find this sort of service where you basically send off for like a vial and a little like pinpricker device thing. It's like a little button, you press it, it makes a small hole in your finger, <laughs> not a hole, that sounds, sounds bad. It makes a small pinprick in your finger. You put the blood into the vial and then you send it off. And then they, they basically do a bunch of blood tests. They test your, your vitamin levels and things like that. Anyway, long story short, uh, through biohacking, I've been able to massively optimize every biomarker in my body. My metabolic age, meaning my, the age of my cells and inside parts, is four to five years younger than my actual age. And uh, it's getting better every, every six months as well. So this is something that I've also done because if you don't have energy and strength and, and willpower, you're also very much screwed. You can't, if, if you can't focus on something enough to get it done, uh, whether it's you know, building a business, researching something, understanding a concept, you know, trying to wrap your head around uh, if you want to, let's say you move to one, from one country to another, how does a residency work? How does the uh, legal system work? How do they interplay between the two countries? You know, the things you might need to be doing in the future to really escape the matrix and make big moves like that, if you can't focus for more than four, four seconds at a time, you won't be able to do that. So through biohacking, I've been able to massively optimize my brain power, my uh, str physical strength and my neuromuscular and immunity. And immunity is another one uh, through biohacking. I basically almost never, if, if not ever, get sick. I very, very rarely get sick. It's been at least a year, maybe even several years. I can't actually remember the last time that I got sick. And this is because I understand and practice things that will give you immunity. Your body is designed to resist and stay healthy, resist disease. And if you follow the, the basic building blocks, you're, you're gonna be fine. The problem is when people assume it's other people's responsibility for their own health. And they say, well, it's because this person didn't do this. That's why I'm sick. It's absolute nonsense. Your health, for the most part, is your responsibility. You are in control of it. You decide what you eat, where you go, your habits, your lifestyle, how much you exercise, how much you drink, how well you sleep. You decide, for the most part, all of these things that make up your immunity. And, uh, you know, of course, there are things that happen like outside of your control. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the 80 to 90% of things that happen, disease, illness, chronic injuries, things like that, where if you, if you really break it down, you are responsible for those things happening by various different things, lifestyle, diet, you know, how well you exercise, your stress levels. It all comes down to personal responsibility. And number four is attention. So this is another way, the fourth way, and I would say it's just as important as the others, right? Attention is a very powerful aspect of how I escape the matrix. If your attention is constantly distracted, if you are constantly binge watching the latest Netflix drama series, if you're constantly scrolling on TikTok and you're constantly being distracted by the latest music, the latest trend, what the royals are doing, no one cares, what any of these different aspects, right? Like oh, this celebrity is now, has now been spotted at a beach talking to this celebrity. No one cares, let's be honest. No one really cares. The media try and make you care by making it into a headline, by sensationalizing it, you know, putting all these different words and different emotive triggers and things. But you shouldn't really care. Who cares what one celebrity is doing? You know, who cares what show is on Netflix or what movie or what band are playing? It doesn't matter. What matters is your life, your experiences, and the legacy that you're trying to build for yourself, how you affect others around you. So if you can't even control your attention, again, you're pretty much screwed because you're going to be distracted, pulled left and right. You're going to be spending all your time <laughs> like researching whatever the latest thing is, you know, watching content about whatever the latest virtue signaling nonsense on TV happens to be that week. And the next thing you know, a different flag goes up. You change your... Facebook profile picture to a different virtue signaling cause that you don't really care about, but you just think you should care about it. 
and you don't really understand it, but you think you understand it because the media tell you what to think and then you adopt that belief as your own without really questioning where it came from, why they want you to believe that, who owns the media company that wants you to believe that and so on. And you see this becomes a bit of a mess. So your attention is very important. You need to be able to discern what is true and what is not true, regardless of who said it. Who, the person who said it is irrelevant. What matters is the message that they're actually saying and whether it's true or not. And there's different ways you can, you know, go into that and like research, different research methodologies and things like that. But most of the world is just a victim to an appeal to authority. They will see an authority figure saying something and assume that just because they are an authority figure, they're telling the truth. This is not the case. This is Historically, this has never been the case. Uh, and in fact, most more often than not, the authority figures are in the wrong throughout history on almost any issue. So you need to be a bit careful of that. And this is one of the things I focused on a lot uh, is attention, making sure I can channel my attention into the right things and ignore the things that are just a distraction that are not going to benefit anyone and they, they're just a waste of time. Some aspects of this I have made courses and programs to help you with. Some I have not. Uh, so I'm still deciding which things to share and which things to not share. If you're interested in, for example, like the, the biohacking aspect, I've made a program about that called Superhuman Optimization. Uh, all of these links, by the way, are in the description. Uh, or if you, can do, if you just go to astralhq.com and browse around the menu, you'll be able to find them there. Uh, I, so I've made basically several programs. I've made a Superhuman Optimization program for the biohacking aspect. This will teach you how to channel your energy improve your strength and optimize your body and mind. For the money and time aspect, I've made a program called Abundance Manifestation Academy, which shows you how to manifest financial abundance and freedom and be able to do all of these things that I talk about, have time, have money, passive income, these kinds of things. And then for the more, let's say the bigger picture stuff, things relating to like consciousness, reality, life, all of the research that me and my team are putting together. And again, I don't know everything. I, I don't want to give you the, the illusion that I'm some kind of like like highly esteemed guru or something, okay? I'm just sharing my experiences and summarizing the, the knowledge of various different experts in different fields. I'm trying to connect the dots rather than master any one particular dot. So in the Spiritual Biohackers Tribe, I have tried to put together as much information as I can find and make it really concise. So this is about the big picture stuff. This is about where in the world should I go to evade various agendas. This is about like, how can I prepare for certain things? How can I escape the matrix, manifest abundance, raise my vibrations, the, all of the kind of the bigger picture stuff where I can go into, into depth on specific topics, that is in the tribe. Uh, but that's a pretty, pretty exclusive um, community and there are not many spaces. So I try and keep it a smaller group and it's like this monthly kind of community thing. We have some live streams, there's various different bonuses and content and things like that. If there are spaces, then you can check that out in the description. That's the tribe. Uh, you can just go to astralhq.com slash tribe and you'll be able to see more about that. Uh, if anything I say resonates with you or if you want to get more of a personal connection with me, you know, we um, can talk, message, email, voice note chat in telegram whatever it is uh in that way so you can check that out but beyond this i'd love to hear what you think about this leave a comment down below and i'll see you next time